go again Trying hard but you wanna be my friend Ain't no place to hide in a wonderland This was honestly such a good trip well this is nature here so uh, it looks like there was an animal that got you know hunted by another one so we took the opportunity to explore our backyard a little bit and try out something new if you So here we are just coming out into a clearing. You can really see how the space just opens up. Lots and lots of tracks around us. Nothing that uh, was an elk, unfortunately, but lots of other stuff. I can help you out. 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 There is a lot of hills. Let me tell you, a lot of hills. I can help you out. So Jared carried the gun and I carried the pack in case we came across anything. Uh, he could react really, really quickly and I was totally okay to carry the pack. It was, I mean, at first I was okay to carry the pack. I was really enjoying the walk and the fresh air and the scenery and getting to spend some time outside of the city and just getting out there, you know? And here we were coming back to camp. And here's a, another part of that animal. And that's actually kind of cool. That was a little wing print. And you could see that there was some sort of bird or something that was in the area. So as we got back to camp, so the reason why we actually chose this camp was because there's a lot of elk tracks. You can see some, that was is super duper clear. There was a lot of elk tracks in and around our camp area. This right here is actually where an elk was probably digging through the snow to try to get to the grass underneath. So now that we got back to camp and this is where we saw a really high concentration of elk tracks, um, we decided to kind of walk around and see if we could figure out which direction the elk had gone. So we saw this while we were out there, uh, some sort of old machinery, which was kind of cool. Headed back to camp, warmed up because we were stinking cold. It's after lunch and we're heading out for round two and we'll go out until the sunset and we shouldn't be out anymore and it gets dark. So across the road there was evidence of a few more elk tracks and just talking to people in and around the area they were saying that they were seeing quite a bit. Look.
And this is the evidence. So not only was there tracks, there was lots and lots of poop. Jared's a little bit more hardcore than me. Went down and tested some of the chunks to see how fresh they were. Cooking alternatively, right on top of the furnace. Got some rice going. Made a chicken and vegetable stir fry with the rice, which was really good. So this is the next morning. We headed back out to that open field that we headed through yesterday afternoon and parked our butts here for a couple hours to see if we could see any activity come through. And at this point, we kind of figured we probably weren't going to get an elk on this trip, but that's totally okay. Either a moose or an elk. We're a moose. It looks like it was running maybe here. Big, big, fresh moose prints. <laughs> 